Hey guys, welcome back. In our previous part on how to factor quadratic expressions, we checked out quadratic expressions that had a leading coefficient different from 1, but conveniently we only used prime numbers. When you don't have prime numbers, you have so many possible factors that all those possible combinations end up in a lot of trying. So in this fourth part of this sequence, I want to show you another way of writing things that I call the ping pong that may make things a little bit easier. Let's check out the first example and I'll show you. So 3x squared plus 8x plus 4. As we did before, what we want to do is start looking for the factors of your first and third terms. So 3 and 4. 3 can be expressed as 3 times 1, while 4 can be expressed as 4 times 1, 1 times 4, and 2 times 2. So the 3 and the 1 mean that this 3x squared is going to be split down into 3 and x. And instead of writing it immediately to a parenthesis, what I'm proposing you to do is write it as a column, 3x times x. Now, if you think of the 4, the 4 you can write it as 4 and 1, so do it, 4 times 1. Now, what I'm telling you to do, as is your second step, is do this cross. This cross is going to always multiply the terms in diagonal. So 3x times 1 is going to give you 3x. 4 times x is going to give you 4x. And what you have to do with these two results is add them. When you add them, you obtain 7x, which is going to be kind of your checking term. So 7x should be equal to 8x. As it is not, that means that this arrangement of terms is not the one that you're looking for. So this guy, bad luck. Now, before moving on to the second pair of factors, that is 2 and 2, you need to check out the flipping of 4 and 1, because this is just saying I'm pairing up the 4 and the 3x. What happens if I pair the 3x with the 1? So you write the first column exactly the same, 3x and x, but the second one you're going to write 1 and 4. Same thing, you cross, 3x times 4 gives you 12x, 1 times x gives you x. And the result of this addition is going to be 13x. Once again, 13x is not what you're looking for. You're looking for an 8x. So this guy is not all of our interest. Now, our third try would be 3x and x. And on the other hand, 2 and 2, which is our second pair of factors, because this one we have already tried it all. Now, our usual cross, 3x times 2 is 6x, 2 times x is 2x, and the result of this addition is going to be 8x. As this is the term that you're looking for, that means that these guys are our solution. How do you build the parentheses? Well, the parentheses you build them horizontally, following those black lines. That means you're going to be writing 3x plus 2 and x plus 2. This is going to be your factored form of 3x squared plus 8x plus 4. Let's check out our second example to get a little bit of the hang of it. In this case, you have 6 in your first term and 2 in the second term, so the factors would be 6 and 1, 3 and 2, and 2 and 1. If you start writing things as columns, as I told you before, 6x squared can be written as 6x times x, while 2 can be written as 2 times 1. You do your cross, and you begin multiplying. 6x times 1 is 6x. 2 times x is 2x. And when you add these two terms, you obtain 8x. So notice that 8x is not the term you're looking for, so this try didn't help us a lot. Now, flipping around the 2 and the 1 is what I told you that you should do always, before changing the, the pair of factors that you have. So 6x and x once again, and you switch this one is into 1 and 2. You follow your cross, and 6x times 2 gives you 12x, x times 1 gives you x, and then when you add, you obtain 13x. It is not what we were looking for again, so but luck, we need to keep on trying. So 6x squared can be written as 6x x, but it can also be written as 
3x and 2x. Once again, you need to write 2 and 1. And let's start multiplying. So 3x times 1 is 3x. 2x times 2, 4x. When you add them, you obtain 7x. Notice that this guy is the term that you're looking for. So you just found your solution. Remember to build the parenthesis horizontally, which means the solution would be 3x plus 2, 2x plus 1. So, some of you may think that it's a little bit of luck. Yeah, I would say that it has a little bit of luck. But the more that you do it and the more that you practice, you're going to be getting the hang of it and noticing that two, some numbers when you're multiplying are getting too big than what you're looking for. So you start narrowing down your cases to figure out the ones that you're looking for. Keep on practicing, guys. Thanks for watching, as usual. I invite you to check out our part 5 on this sequence of factoring quadratic expressions that is coming up next.